our way to our uh, camping trip in Steelville, Missouri, and I think we took a wrong turn. Maybe like the movie Wrong Turn. I hope not. Anyway, we are on a dirt road that we should have stayed on Highway 8, but the GPS took us off into this area. I think we have another, what is it, six and a half miles to go on this before we get actually back to the highway. This is awful. We feel all kinds of dings going on the truck. Buddy. It's so it's buddy. It's just not a good situation. You got it though. So right? the time is 424 on Friday. So we hope y'all hear from us. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this is not it for us. Hopefully this isn't the end. Alright, well, we'll come back, I hope. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. everything almost together but we got our friends out here we got Heather Hi. and Mark. what is your name you say? Mark Mark you having fun did you have fun in that creek yeah yeah did you catch anything No. So we show me that rock that you got oh. didn't you get a big rock look at that look yeah that's, that's Ronnie what got that huh oh my goodness but I catch the bigger rocks you did and what's your name Rodney. 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 Okay. Well, these are our friends, and we're all from St. Louis, and so we're just going to have a good time. Once we get set up, we'll give you some more footage then. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Bye. All right. All right, you guys. We'll see you all in just a little bit. All right. All right. All right. Let's go. See you guys. Got it. Okay. Come on. <laughs> you want to? Okay. You can carry it now. That's so cute. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at Who's the Valley? Who's that? Who's that Valley? What is it? State Park or RV Park? It's okay. Like a, yeah, RV Park. Who's the Valley RV Park here in Steelville, Missouri? And let me tell you, it is packed. Seriously, packed. So we're gonna do a little walk through and uh, show you a little footage. Is there water down there? Yeah, there's a creek down there. We can go down. Okay. Well, you want to go down this way and then go down? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're just going to give you a little footage of the site. So this is us right here. The site is not level at all. But we made the best of it. Hi, neighbors. Hey, Hello. how are you? Good, how are you guys? Pretty good, pretty good. Good? Taking some footage of this place? Are you? Uh -huh. Is this the first time you've been here? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've been here for lots of times. Wow. Well, like our battery is getting low. We had 38%, but we should be able to rock the house with this. I guess there's no bathhouse. Okay. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, they have porta potties. Yeah, okay, not our house. All right. A lot of people will have you know, multiple people on the site. They just kind of take camp and then RV here. And people like they're having a great time out here. I mean, the sites are. Oh, look at this camp out there. Yeah. Yeah. The sites are close. Oh, they have everything in close. Yeah. yeah. They got the chicken tail and everything in close, so they don't get that good. So, the sites are really, really close. They're pretty close. But they work. So. Let's get set up. I like your setup. Thank you. Thank you. That's really nice. Get the bugs away. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> They still sneak in. <laughs> This 
This is Saturday morning. It's around, let's say, about 8:45 a.m. And we're here at the Hoosa Valley RV Park in Steelville, Missouri. And we are broadcasting live with. You got that right. Forever tripping. It's nothing like waking up in the morning at a campsite smelling bacon and eggs. Wow. Smells really good. But we're going to get it in today. A lot of people are here are going floating. We want to be floating. Uh, we're here for a special event today. So we're just going to walk around and see what the park has to offer and bring that to you. And then we have a all white event this evening at six o'clock. So that's what we'll be doing. But until then, we're going to walk around and just check things out. All right. So we're getting our walk on and trying to explore the park. So it looks like we see water. So let's see what's down this way. You think you can throw the you think you can throw a rock across the water? Here, hold this while I throw, I'm throwing a rock across the, the side. All right, let's see if you get it. Uh, all right. You ready? Yep. This right here will right. make it to the other side. We'll go for camera. it. Yep. Okay. I got you. I'm on camera. Mm hmm. Okay. This rock right here will make it to the other side. Yep. Got it. You want to see if I can do one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, grab your popcorn and, and, your, and your whatever kind of drinks you're going to have because this is going to be entertaining. It's going to be entertaining. I can't throw. What they say? I throw like a girl? Only thing she can do is throw a fit. Like that? <laughs> and it went off on that too. Wow. One more try. Three strikes, you're gonna strike out. Wow. You saw it here first. I'll get better. Uh, you said that uh, four camping trips ago. <laughs> wow. I'm not here to throw rocks. I'm here to forever trip and have fun. Okay. I mean, I, 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 right. How about we throw some cornhole later? I bet you I can do that. Now, really, you really digging your grave now. I am. Let's go down and see where this water, because this is so, you see how this is really still? Yeah. And then there's a point that it changes over there. But see, I like it down here because I like peace. True. Peace be still. But I like party. Yeah, that's true, too. Well, we'll go check, we'll check it out. Let me enjoy this moment of... Any peaceful Peace. moments that you Yeah, let me enjoy this peaceful moment. Because right now, I'm not. Get it? I'm not forever tripping right now. 856. It, it's 8.56 on a Saturday morning. How many of you guys still in bed? Get up. Get out. Come enjoy some of this nature with us. You don't have to do it here, but do it somewhere. Okay, as you can see, what are those canoes? Uh, rafts? Yeah, no, yeah, canoes. There. So these are canoes here. And rafts. And rafts. And this is where the bus pick you up for your little excursions. Hoosai Valley sign. Yep. Let's go this way. RV camping and lodging. Who's the valley? You can float down and get an inner tube too. Yeah. Let's go check this out. Fun, depending on what we're, well, then you got the snakes in the water. Yep. Okay, yeah. You got Jake the snake in the water. <laughs> so the water, for, Ooh, for, for, for me, straight off limits. Oh, All right. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. So this is what's up. This is the reason why a lot of people come down to Cruiser Valley. 
And if you look further on down, look at him. Look at him. Oh, okay. Wrap him. Yeah, yep. Just walk on down there. Yeah. So this is where the fun is happening. Yep. So uh, if you're ever down the Hoosa Valley in Steelville, Missouri, you get a chance to do some of this fun stuff. It looks like fun. Maybe the next time we come, we'll, when we don't have a party to go to, we'll probably do something like this. I think we could do it. Okay, guys, yeah, this I is how, this is how people tent camp here. So we got a nice whole big tent. We've never experienced this before, but they can stay in this. They can put themselves a fan in there. So this, uh, <laughs> our neighbor said that he bought a camper, but he's got to make his kids have a nice weekend of a uh, little bit of being uncomfortable before, right? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Got to sweat it out. All right. Did you sweat it out? Twice. So now you can get in the camper, right? Okay. You ready for it? Mm -hmm. All right. Ready to have air conditioning. <laughs> Oh, it's sleep seven? Okay, well that'll be nice then. Well, you'll be ready to get on and have some fun today then. All right. All right, guys, we are um, out here having a great time and we have some neighbors that are really, really nice that we met and we've been asking them some things about the park and some stuff they like about camping. So you guys, in, you're from Hazelwood? Who's from Hazelwood? Uh, we're from Originally. Denver, about 45 minutes south of St. Louis. Well, this is Hoosaw Valley, and it um, we come here floating once a year, and we made this a family tradition now. So we come once a year, this time of the year, and we just like it here because the river's nice to float, and that's what we like to do, and so we camp here. Okay. And they have primitive campsites, and they have electric and full hookups, uh, so you can bring campers and that, and it is a fun place to go. They have playgrounds, they're renovating their showers right now. They're going to be really nice when they get done. You can go horseback riding. Horseback oh, riding. Oh, okay. And the kiddos like it usually? Is oh, it a good place, yeah. good place to bring kids? Oh, good yeah. place to bring yeah. kids. They can walk right down to the yeah, water. We have a camp. campsite over a little ways away from where we're at, and they, it's right accessible to the river. Okay. And the kids can walk down shallow enough for them to play. Uh, down there so you don't really have to worry too much and they love it they love camping anyway well, we love camping. you heard it come on down to who's a valley if you want to have a great time and do some camping so we'll check back with you later. okay what did you do here well i took a mason jar with a little funnel on it and just put some crackers in it and caught about three dozen minnows pretty quick look at that i just that. swam in the jar and got caught wow now we can go catch fish now you, oh you're going to use those for bait yeah. Yeah. that's smart Okay, and all you did was put some crackers in there. Well, you have a lot of days that's sunny and beautiful while you are camping. You also have days like this where it's raining and yeah, it's raining. Actually, it's pouring. stuff happens when you're camping. Some people say it's just a little rain. It's just a little water. I remember our motto in the army. It never rains in the army. Only rains on the army. Imagine that. Umbrellas are not a lot that we have to get ready for in about an hour. So hopefully it'll slow down a little bit. And actually, the event was supposed to. <laughs> actually, the event is scheduled to be outside. So, hopefully, they had a backup plan. Hey, we are uh, dressed and getting ready to go to the event that, th that we came down here for. We came down to go to um, a, a friend's anniversary party, and it's an all white party. So, we have on our white, and we also have on ponchos because. As you saw earlier, it is pouring down, raining. It's kind of not raining right now, but it's, it's going in and out in spurts. So we are ready um, to, to get this thing started. I got 
<laughs> we both got on different shoes until we get to the party. So the host did assure us that she's got an alternate plan for um, the rain. So we should be good. So we're just going. And, and this time we are not on a road that is causing us to be afraid. We're on the right road, which is Highway 8, which is what we should have been on earlier when we came in. Who was afraid? You? I wasn't afraid. Never that. Concerned, maybe. <laughs> He never will admit that he's afraid. He says he's he's never scared. He's always just concerned. All right, so we're here at the party, all uh, white party. Really nice. She she went all out on this party. Yeah, it's great. Still raining outside, but we were all inside the tent. presently have 76 degrees. Brentwood 79. Here in the country, 77 degrees only on your station. The Zoom, 97.3 FM. Here we go, here we, here we, here we, here we, here we go. Yeah. Good morning. It is our last day at Hoosa Valley and we are hooked up, ready to go. Had a great time. So this trip was a little bit interesting. It started out a little rough with a rough ride to get in. Um, it's been raining every single day since we've gotten here, but we've, pow we've powered through it. So it was a great park, great time. We went to our white party and we had an awesome time. That was shout out to our friends, Will and Dan Sire for their 21st anniversary. We enjoyed that party and it was really, really fun. So I would say I would come back to this park. I would probably get a different site. Um, there's lots of great things going on and it's kind of a party park. Um, people did not let it, the rain stop them from having a good time. And we didn't let it stop us either. So we even got rained on while we were setting up or, or not setting up by uh, hooking up to be able to get the trailer hooked up and get out of here. So we are um, at the gate and we are ready to pop out, but we decided we needed to say goodbye and close this out and get you ready for the next one. Um, anything you want to say, babe? Yes, I have a question. And the question is, are you waiting on things to get easier, simpler, or better to have a good time? I ask that question again. Are you waiting on things to get easier, simpler, or better to have a good time? And while you're thinking about that, let me see, let me share this with you. Life is tough, yeah. and there's challenges every day, and there are going to be challenges throughout your life. So. If you're waiting on things to get easier, simpler, or better, unfortunately, you may just run out of time. 
So you need to start enjoying your life. You need to start that today. Get out and have some fun. We're doing it. Yeah. You ready to roll? I think I'm ready to roll. Well, let's bust this joint. All right. Well, ready to go? Boom. All right.